And, and you know, we have still have a limited venue. If I recall correctly, it was limited to like uh, 64 people and only 60 came up. So still not at the maximum capacity. And also with the double monitors, which in my opinion, Roy, I really don't know about you, but in my opinion, All right. I think that the double that the double monitor should become the standard. But uh, I, I really don't know how that's going to, you know, fare up because Smash Factory, given has years of experience and the new organizations, of course, are going to struggle to, to meet up the standard. But I think that in like majors and such that, that obviously have a, a good amount of time, this should be the standard. Yeah, I mean, it depends on a lot of factors, right? But I do agree on, on the fact that perhaps it, it is the way to go if things do allow that. And we do see the Banjo and Kasui come out to play. As I was saying, perhaps uh, uh, Jorno not trying to actually deal with this annoying plumber as Pokemon Trainer. And, uh, well, Banjo being able to, like, outspace and get so much more. And it was looking like a spike, but instead... Uh, Jorno manages to get uh, Punish going, and actually the managing percent, is he gonna go out and abusing the fact that you can just pretty much babysit? Uh, uh, abusing the, the recovery options from Banjo, just to put pressure passively pretty much, but it was, it was very effective and just using also those double jumps as mix-ups to make it as hard as possible uh, to... For, for Mario to be able to deal with that, and I mean for as much hitboxes as, as the Plumber can throw out, you still have to find the right spacing and timing to do so. Yeah, like, you don't see it every day that that the spacing is on point, and ooh, what the? He was barely able to finish and, and like, avoid that, that wandering right there. So I do understand that this matchup can be quite difficult for, for Mario, simply because of the fact that Kazumi acts like a sword. It, that that's basically what she is. She's basically a sword right there, going to aerials. You don't see her every day. She can throw out a, a, a very difficult to, to punish projectile in, in form of both the the neutral B and the down B, the grenade egg, right there. So like we're gonna be seeing right oh there. Oh my god! With the number the only just one of those into the forward air right there. So be careful because right now Jordan. Oh, he's gone. Be, no, yeah, no, he's gone. He's gone. He had the oh my god! Oh. The air dodge right there, barely making it back. Those magma hands, my man. He has those big hands with the forwarder, but he doesn't have enough weight regardless to be able to make it back and just immediately eats that Wonder Wing and just dies off. I mean, it looks like a, perhaps uh, uh, some matchmate experience on the side of Superdog just falling for a couple of the tricks that Jorno seems to have in store for him. However, is slowly but surely adapting. I mean, uh, you're only ever a Mario combo away or a ladder combo away from losing your stock. And DDI was correct this time around, not going in, which could have been very dangerous. But the second time around, and look at that. The, uh, here, Superdog abusing the fact that he knows the, the path that uh, uh, here uh, Jorno has to take back into into the ground and even with a character with multiple jumps such as, as Banjo has to go through that area that Mario can cover very well but the second time around I was looking for that confirm which we see uh, that a neutral B can be very very rewarding however here, Superdog having one more chance at Liveless. He, oh. El Poyaso, almost <laughs> finding its luck. But the combo here gets very scary, my man. I'm sorry, man. It's just that, that was really not what I was expecting. You're right. And Poyaso right there trying to make a, trying to make this the end. And oh, he air dodged that. Barely is able to make it back. And here we go. The Mario combos. Those combos that are known to steal. But, oh, right there, Jorno. Whoa, with the... Oh. <laughs> But Superdog Go. once again going for every single <gasps> semi spike right there and with the second, with the yeah the first hit. Oh my God, what the call out! He's not dead though. Mario, the the neutral heavyweight right there, just barely making it back with the other side of the stage. But 150 percent is possible to expect to live a wandering from. Oh, the big right there, Roy. This is gonna be very. Oh, oh what? What a tag was that? Superdog managing to leave, and they are both. Fighting tooth and nail to get this, and Superdog is going to get it. Just managing to hold on, and I mean the up smash. Mario lives and dies thanks to that move. And this time around, like Jorno, no, not being able to close it out. And I mean, huge props there, to Superdog, for holding on. Those recoveries, I'm sure, were not easy, even though that super jump does feel like it has a ton of priority and the speed that it actually brings to the table is very very important as well uh, however like we, we saw it earlier right like sometimes like 
Banjo is able to command uh, such respect because of the multiple jumps, because of the nair, because of the fair, and even like the part of the trampoline that can hit you, right? So, like, that is a, a, like a tough recovery, I would say, f for Mario, and just even getting those techs in was very crucial for Super Dog. So, not only getting the opposite be from before, but now perhaps looking to put Yarch in the dirt. And sorry, I still haven't fully recovered from El Poyazo, but, but, but I mean, yes, I said what I said, man. <laughs> I said what I said. No, but you're completely right in your analysis. Like, being you as Banjo, you have to use Kazooie to outspace the plumber. And I do see that a lot, even though it's dead freaking even right here. And because Journal right here is trying his best to make, um, make Superdog condition in a way to respect like projector it's simply just not happening why because superdog is finding the opportunities and the wow. the gaps right there and here we go he's dead is that no no he thought that he saved no not yet. Oh, just a bit just a bit more if that if he had done that area just a bit earlier that probably wouldn't have been curtains for his first stock but right here superdog in a quite comfortable situation he's not out yet it's still two stocks but and he's still within the very high percentage of his last one uh, Jorno right here, uh, but I do see that oh, there is he, oh, he had the read he had the I saw the gears turning bro I saw them turning it's just not enough to complete it They were fuming they were not just turning they were definitely overheating right there Jorno almost managing to get the absolute nastiest thing that we've uh, almost saw in this tournament uh, again that a uh, type of recovery and gonna get punished by the Wonder Wing but not losing the stock just yet. However, this is looking pretty much like Jorno's game. However, that same up smash that closed out the the ending of the first game almost manages to even things out. No more Wonder Wings for this stock, so we are going to see uh, Jorno rely on some other options right there. The recovery not gonna suffer too much on the vertical side though, so still able to get that and the fair surviving. Excellent DI here from Superdog, however, you're not gonna be able to survive that backer. Those buffs that happened so long ago, it seems like they're coming in clutch right now. And even though, like I said, no more gold on this bird here, like you still have uh, some tools that you can play with, however, not for so long because Mario getting that back throw once more. At this point, one would stop to think, does this, is taking the stack actually benefiting Mario up to a point? Because the only thing that you did is that you gave him Wonder Wings again. So that's it's it's a very difficult situation because you have to do this in order to win the game, but you give him Wonder Wings again and, and not only that, but you have to you have to go from that not like five. Through 10 Wonder Wings, because if you take this other stock, that's gonna be it too. So it's very difficult. Oh my god, he, he tried to go for the forward air right there. He tried to go for the forward air right there, but not quite enough to help him with because the platform just got in his way. But here we go, the Mario combos, the Mario combos. I know they so well. He went for everything. A bit of an error and what an anticlimactic finish, Roy. He gets fared out of his own combo. Got caught slacking. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be game number two, tying up the set one one. I mean, for as much as I would love, I love the potential that that combo had. I also love the composure that Jorno has. Like every time that he's been getting comboed, like both vertically or horizontally, like he's been like, oh, I can press a button, I can get upper, I can just air dodge, I can DI properly and live this. I do not need to panic. I know I'm Banjo, I have a great recovery, and I could just make it back, and I mean, even though it's a little anticlimactic, because it would have been a very hype combo finisher uh, to, to steal away the game pretty much, like, Jorno just buckling down and saying, you know what, I can take this one step at a time, and I can make it happen, but let's see if he can actually take it the distance, because, uh, I mean, it, it, it's looking very, very dangerous when you are facing a Mario in game number three. And not only that, just not any Mario. I mean, Super Dog is here for a reason, you know. He's in this winners winners finals for a reason. And oh my God, I think he's gonna kill himself. Up zero. I was just, I was just like about to, you know, like give him a bit of a praise right there, and I thought he was gonna die. No, a lot of jumps still right there. Very well done. And Jorno trying to get there with the offensive. And you see, whenever you see the one wing charging towards you, it's very scary. Like you wouldn't think to like you maybe like pull out a cape, the, the super cape right there or something like that, because you just see him charging at you and. 
It's very difficult to respond. It's very difficult to react to it as well. And some characters just simply do not have the correct tools. So right there, exploding with the grenade, a very strange situation for, for Jorno. But I do see that Superdog is in the advantage right now. But, but at this point, Banjo, no, to be able to kill no. Oh, just getting a little too overzealous with that movement off stage. And we have actually seen like, uh, Jordan has been very consistent with those down tilts by the ledge, which have set up perfectly, at least in that last game they did for the edge guards. And uh, I, I told you, Banjo just has the right tools to be able to pressure Mario and just force him into a very, very precarious position right there, which is sometimes it's just checkmate. He just got to lose the stock, but the neutral seems to still be going at least for the time being to Super Dogs. So, uh, I mean, both of these characters can do a ton of damage in a very quick span of time, especially Mario, of course, due to those combos. And is it gonna be effective and look oh. at the read and the reset such a great positioning right there but once again Joro not falling prey for the fear and just knowing that he can perhaps try to get his own punish out of that and maybe even an edge guard the situation was right there the four smash was in front of him but he didn't take it so that could come into cost him because we saw the reason why he lost that first game is because he couldn't just close it out even though he was at an advantage at some point Difficult situation right here because even though Jorno, like you mentioned, was in a very easy, easy <laughs> way of match right there, just barely dodging, trying to get back, throwing back the grenade, a second <laughs> Wonder Wing, the third one right like there, that. the one that able to connect. That's like completely, completely respectable. And, but unfortunately, get up air. I'm sorry, down aired out of a little scramble at the ledge. And now we're seeing that Jordan is actually in a deficit, but could be not for long. What a raid! He, all he had to do was just wait. He waited for it to react. And even though Banjo and Mario's fares are quite similar, I do feel like the advantage right here in order to kill is on behalf of Banjo. Right yeah. Here. For sure, some extra range and a ton of extra power on that sweet spot and just breaking the combo once more and he felt prey for it. This is the inspiration of B that Jorno was looking for and the pun is just juggling. Those platforms allow uh, Jarch here to actually extend those punishes and then to get some even special setups right there with the gun cancels. But we've seen this super dog once he gets going, it, it's just very difficult to stop him. So. If he gets the right combo right here, uh, things uh, could be swinging his way. This is dead even as far as games go. It just uh, needs a little more percent here on the side of Super Doc. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Jorno trying to close it out. Yarj, do you have what it takes? Or is it going to slip away due to a Mario combo? I mean, I don't know, but we'll see in a few seconds, I guess. Jesus Christ, this is the fastest ever. Half winner finals to qualify into the winner's bracket should be in the top 12. This <laughs> Yo, is, oh my god, it's so amazing! Not like it. the, Jesus Christ, you see like these micro interactions? And they're just ever so good. Go oh. right there? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Still not dead yet. Barely hanging alive. Oh, oh, oh my god! Why did he jump? Why did he jump? He had it. He didn't have to jump. And he's on his last Wonder Wing. This could be it. Everything that he's waiting for. The matching right there to be able to get out of there, Roy. This is just a touch of oh, situation. He uses the two recover. No more Wonder Wings on deck. No more Wonder Wings on deck. No. No. He's oh dead. my god. Going high and getting the Nair, but the situation is very no dangerous. Way. The Nair under recovery. I told you, Super Dog manages to clutch it out like he has to close out those games, that type of situation. And that was as tense as ever. They're both discussing that. I mean, what a set we just saw back and forth till the very end, the clutch factor from Superdog, too strong right now, and that lack of gold, man, you let it go a little too early, and I mean, he was forced to do so in the recovery situations, and it was very costly indeed. Great performance from Superdog so far, and even though my man Yarch putting up a fight, he didn't close it quite out, but Jorno, I mean, we saw the potential that that Banjo had.